What's going on guys? It's Welvin Work here and today I wanted to know if you wanted to know what's in your debit card. Now, if you can see clearly, I have ripped out a little piece, this little piece right here. You know this little piece that goes, the little chip, goes right here. Let me change this so you can see. See that? See the little chip that goes right here? Yeah, so I pulled that out and I turned it over. Can you see that? I turned the piece over. A microchip on the back. Microchip, very, very small microchip. And inside of here, you can see all of the these little wires in here. There are wires in here. Back in the day, there weren't any wires inside of a uh, credit card. It was just the credit card and this little magnetic piece right here. You see, this magnetic piece can pull, can peel up now. So you can just peel that right on up. It's laid down there on a on a bed of plastic. Peel that right up, uh, and I have, as you can see, I peeled it up. So, but yeah, the contactless D and the chip in, they have pieces of pieces of metal inside. So it's like a little circuit board. And this is the processor. This processor is a tiny little computer. It's a tiny little computer, if you can see that. Sorry, my webcam on my computer is not the best. 2.2, .2, it's 2 megabits per second. 2 megapixels. But it's a tiny little computer, if you can look at that. See that? Now, to let you know, what it does is it creates a matrix, or a, what I would call, excuse me, I call it a matrix, but it's actually called a cryptograph. Okay, they use cryptography. Chip, EMV chip. Yeah, EMV chips were originally conceived by Europay, MasterCard, and Visa. They are more secure than traditional debit or credit cards because account information stored on a card is encrypted uniquely each time it's accessed. EMV chip technology does nothing to prevent fraudulent ca card not present transactions. Whoa. So why did they come up with this if it's not even necessary? EMV bypass cloning is dangerously effective, but through policy view and higher verification standards, card providers and financial institutions can close the security gaps that is that this method exploits and restore the security integrity of EMV chips okay so how do EMV chips work how are EMV chip card transactions processed chip cards work with payment acceptance devices that are certified to be compliant with EMV chip and pin standards during a transaction the customer inserts the payment card into the terminal the chip and the card reader communicate to authenticate the transaction. Okay? So why is the chip safer than swipe? Chip cards are safer than traditional credit cards that only have magnetic stripes. When you dip a chip card reader card into the reader as opposed to swiping a magnetic stripe card, it creates a unique transaction code. This technology is major is a major security upgrade from the magnetic stripes. Data stored within the stripe never changes so that's the difference between the swipe and the um, and the, uh, uh, the chip okay and we said this again that the, the chip is better than a swipe uh, when it comes to chip versus swipe debate the security provided by EMV chip is so superior to the magnetic strip that it's no wonder why EMV has become the standard B this because this is the case transactions processed via EMV chip are far less likely to lead to fraudulent activity or chargebacks, okay? And we already talked about if the chip can be cloned, um, card issuers can keep both codes on file as well as a secret dynamic code unique to that chip. 
to verify the, autis- the authenticity of every card transaction. As a result, it's impossible to clone a chip card. Um, can a chip and pin be cloned? Each time a consumer uses a chip and pin card, a unique, unpredictable number is created to authenticate the transaction. You can, as good as clone a, the chip, you you can, as good as clone the chip. It's called a prepay, pre-play attack. Can skimmers read chip cards? Perhaps the scariest part is that skimmers often don't prevent the ATM or credit card reader from functioning properly, making them harder to detect. Even if the cards have a chip, the data will still be on the card's magnetic strip to the backwards compatible, to be backwards compatible with systems that can't handle the chip. Okay. Um, who makes EMV chips? The EMV chip standard is backed and controlled by EMVCO, an equitable consortium consisting of Discover, American Express, MasterCard, Visa, JCB, and China Union Pay. EMV stands for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa, hence EMV. The technology is named for three credit card networks that originally developed the protocol. Um, how do I know if my debit card is an EMV chip? To check whether your debit card has an EMV chip or not, look for a golden chip located on the center left position of the front of the debit card. The one I ripped out was right there. And I don't need this card anymore, that's why I'm doing it like this. Um, if the chip, if there is no such chip, then it is then it is a mag stripe card. Mag stripe is the stripe on the back. Okay. What does EMV decline mean? It is important to understand that a decline response means that the card issuer is unable to un- or unwilling to provide an authorization on the cardholder's account. If you receive a referral response on your payment system, is your your payment system is not functioning. You perform a voice authorization. Okay? Can you still swipe a chipped card? You can swipe a credit card with a chip, but not in all situations. If a merchant does not support chip technology, you will res- you will swipe your card and sign for a purchase for your purchase, treating your card as a basic magnetic stripe card. Why do credit cards switch chips? Magnetic strip cards are inherently vulnerable to fraud. Their flaws have been le- led to the transaction. Excuse me. Their flaws have led to the transition to chip-enabled or EMV Euro Mastercard Visa cards, which offer tighter security measures and combat potential fraud and identity theft. Is a chip and pin safe? Chip and pin is much more secure than older credit cards that only feature the magnetic strip. You can also argue that it is more secure than other chipped cards that rely on signature verification and not a straightforward and objective pin you enter at the point of purchase. Are chip cards more secure? Can thieves make freight credit cards? Can EMV cards be skimmed? Can a cloned card be used in the ATM? Can a credit card be cloned? What is a chip or credit card? How does a chip and pin work? What data is stored on the EMV chip? Can you can your credit card be scanned in your pocket? Can skimmers get your pin? Alright, let's start from the bottom. As you slide your credit card into a compromised machine, the card skimmer reads the magnetic strip on your card and stores the card number. Your pin can be captured too. If a fake keypad was placed over the real one, later a thief scoops up the information and either sells it or uses it uses it him or herself. Okay? I'm tired of people saying uh, uh, him on everything. It could be a her, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, thieves armed with scanning devices could indeed read your card information by intercepting its RFID signal, stealing your information as long as they were close to you. Thieves could steal information even if your RFID emitting card was tucked into your wallet, purse, purse or pocket. All right? What data is stored on the EMV chip? The microchip embedded in a card stores information required to authenticate, authorize, or and process transactions. This is the same type of information already stored in Metadata Stripe. No personal information about your account is stored on the chip. How does the chip work? With chip and PIN cards, the credit card data is stored on a tiny computer chip, not a magnetic stripe. 
and customers punch in a four digit PIN, personal identification number, hence PIN, instead of a signing, instead of signing on the screen. The craft store Michaels and retailer Naiman Marcus were also victims of massive data breaches. What is chip on debit card? Chip on debit card is a standard plastic debit or credit card, which means an embedded microchip, as well as a traditional magnetic stripe. The chip encrypts information to increase data security and make when making transactions in stores, terminals, or automated telemachines, ATMs. I think we're getting a little redundant here because basically uh, we we're talking in circles here. So we basically have how 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 secure is the chip and pin? Okay. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, next time we will be talking about uh, some cryptocurrency. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you.